Tottenham, it's our dealers. Played on again for his fellow countrymen. And a little flick wide and a good one there for Perriman, who'd come forward quickly for Tottenham. Outside him is Roberts. Here's Ricky Villier again. Played there. Oh! And Archibald! Well, if there are any doubts about Archibald's fitness before the game, there was none in terms of his quick thinking and getting in there to put Spurs in the lead. Perryman playing the ball in there to Velia, who did well here, and so too did uh, Ardiles, number seven, with that shot there, well saved, in fact, by Corrigan at full length. Before he could get to it, Archibald was in there, and Spurs were in the lead, 1-0. Hutchison just kept in play expertly the crowd gave him applause for that which it certainly deserved there's Gower again a really competitive midfielder now Mackenzie oh, we very nearly found uh, Boyer with that one here's Gower again and City have got a lot of people forward Boyer 1-1 one, one. his first goal for his new club and so typical of the man and the man who bought him, John Bond, I would have thought, well, that's repaid something. And it was a really beautiful header. Jerry Gow, who's done so much in the midfield for Manchester City since he joined them from Bristol City, and a really good, powerful header by Boyer, and that's 1-1. And here's Hoddle again. And he's done it again! so far but not really by his standards been all that impressive my word he hit that one it deflected off the line into the roof of the net but it's Glenn Hoddle's goal getting the right sort of angle there just picking off the defender Bobby MacDonald but it's 2-1 to Tottenham Hoddle again Suddenly sprung to life with that goal and then with a shot that wasn't far off the mark and hit with great power. Archibald playing it into him there. Economy of effort, but a great deal of power. Power going in there, it was uh, Archibald who got it away, not very far though. Hollow nicking it on. And now a chance. There are two up. Filia is supported by Crooks on this side. Filia going all the way, no Crooks. The linesman's flagging and it's offside. Surprise on the face of Garth Crooks, and there couldn't have been much in it. The linesman was right up there. And, yes, it looks very much as though the linesman was 100% right. An obstruction there on Tommy Hutchison, another free kick from Manchester City. But there's not time to take it. And Spurs, with that goal from Glenn Hoddle, 15 minutes from the end, get what could be a very valuable victory and put an end to a run of four successive defeats. With Archibald having scored for Spurs in the first half, Phil Boyer equalising for Manchester City, Glenn Hoddle getting the winner. Keith Birkinshaw goes off with a good deal of relief. And a final score here at White Hart Lane is Tottenham Hotspur 2, Manchester City 1.